Hey guys, so today's video is all about light modifiers, in particular, a grid. As you can see on this light, I've made my own custom grid out of cardboard, and well, that just doesn't look very great. Today I'm gonna make a way more polished looking grid with some 3D printed parts and some aluminum U-channel. Check it out. We need four rails to make the box. I've 3D printed four corner brackets. These corner brackets are actually pretty cool because I modeled them to exactly fit the angled brackets, or these are actually called U-channels. I 3D printed these frame clips to keep the grid attached to our light. And the only hardware we're using is two quarter 20 thumb screws with nylon lock nuts on there so we don't bottom out the mounting points and a couple of quarter inch washers. Oh, and for the grid, you're gonna need a pack of extra wide boba straws. I got this pack of 100 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. This is what the grid will be made of. I'm gonna cut them all to a specific length to make the actual grid system. And to do that, I've made a really makeshift jig to be able to cut all of my pieces of straw to the same exact length. Surely there's a better way to do this, but we need lots of these pieces and this is just what I came up with on the fly. This light has the actual legit um, grid and the Easy Box 2 from Aperture. It's a really, really nice kit. You get this collapsible grid and the upgraded soft box with diffusion claw and the actual aluminum rods that hold this whole thing on. But as you can see, it adds quite a bit of depth to the rig. Now, I think this is a great product and I'll link it down in the description if you have a Tri-8 set. Um, and I think they're fantastic. But I got a 3D printer and I wanted to make something cool. So we're gonna try and replicate the grid system that I've seen done by KinoFlow Lighting. If you don't know, KinoFlow is like one of the best uh, video light manufacturers probably in the world. This is not a 100% um, You know unique design it is something that I saw KinoFlow do But I wanted to see if I could replicate that myself with 3d parts now for the frame We're gonna use this 3 quarter inch trim channel for plywood So I measured out exactly the perimeter of the light figured out my dimensions and cut these exactly to length keeping in mind to allow for the clearances of the extra 17 millimeters that our angle brackets will create. After I got my frame pieces cut, I had to file down the edges because they were quite sharp and jagged. So filing those down helped me make sure that I can slide those into the angle brackets super easy. As far as the 3D parts go, I modeled these from scratch specifically for this build and I can include those STL files down in the description if you wanted to try and create your own grid like this. If you're trying to build a grid for your Aperture Tri-8 series lights, this will work exactly as I'm showing you. However, if you have a different size LED panel, the only change you might make is the length in your rails and the retainer clips might not fit. Okay, now that we have all of our pieces, glue, and our grid made of drinking straws, I think we're ready to build. So there you have it, that's pretty much the grid panel. Uh, it looks just as cool as I thought it would. Now all we have to do is let the glue dry so it's nice and hard and solid. And we'll come back to this tomorrow and clip it on the light. Okay, solid. The super glue seems to be holding pretty well. It feels pretty rigid and uh, 
yeah, the next thing we have to do is just put on the clips and then we'll attach it to our light. I'm gonna have to turn the lights off and show you just this wall. I think the best way to give you an example is to shoot across the wall to show you how much light is gonna spill from an angle. Okay, so this is a shot with the grid on and this is a shot with the grid off. And if you look at the two side by side, you can really see how much extra light spill there is without a grid. Now if we turn that up to 100% intensity, that is 100% brightness with no grid, and this is 100% brightness with a grid. Okay, so I mean, so you can see how a grid will greatly help you control your light in any type of scene with any type of LED panel. The plans that I'll have down in the description will be for the Aperture Tri-8 series lights because they're all the same size and dimension, but all you have to do is modify the length and width of your panel to be able to make the exact same light. Your mounting brackets might vary, um, so if you need help with that, definitely let me know. I will include the STL files for these brackets and these corner brackets, and also the Amazon link for the drinking straws that I used for this particular product. And these mounting clips easily come off, so the packing footprint is quite small, and if it breaks, you're out just a couple bucks. Overall, I'm super happy with this grid and the way it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you might be considering making one of these for your kit. I personally am going to make two more so that I can have the same exact grid style for all of my light kit. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.